Hello, this is Abbott. Time for clocks. Welcome. This is just a little short segment on how to clean rusted or otherwise dirty screws that you take out of an antique clock. And it doesn't have to be an antique clock. It can be anything old with rusted screws. But many times uh, you can't find replacement screws or you want to use the original screws. These screws I took out of the uh, Sekosha wall clock I'm repairing and I'm about to clean them up but I wanted to show how. Now these these little screws I did put them in a de-rusting solution to get the rust off. I also have them in the ultrasonic cleaner but even so they still have rust they're still I mean there's they're not very attractive so I'm just gonna show you how I clean them up I hope it'll be helpful because uh, <clears throat> it, it's just a little information tidbit to help all right let me move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing I like to use a Dremel tool with a wire wheel attachment which I put around here somewhere Okay, there it is. Now, always wear eye protection and maybe something over your clothing because when this is spinning, the little parts of the bristle, wire bristle, they do come off. And if you get one in your eye, you will reg you you will regret it. Anyhow, an old piece of wood, and I all I did was drill a hole in it. For instance, I just got a drill bit just slightly smaller than slightly st smaller than the screw. And then uh, I screw it into the hole, not all the way down, so that when I go around it with my Dremel tool with a wire wheel, I can get right underneath. I can get underneath that. See, just like this. Let me turn it on here. When I go underneath the head and the threads on the bottom that are rusted, see, it doesn't take much to clean that up. See, and then on the top, and in the groove, because you don't want rust or any junk in there. Okay. Now, See, that was real quick. I did it real quick. Let me, I don't know. Closer, is that better? I go all the way around like that, underneath, and then over the top, like that. That's, that's one way. See? See how it's cleaned up already? Uh, an old, original, but rusted screw now if the th if the threads are if the threads are very rusted also well you want to turn it over and and do the threads but how do you do that well i use uh, two popsicle sticks with a rubber with a uh, rubber oops wrong end with a rubber band on the end see let me let me take this one out. I drill a hole bigger than the screw. So this one we just cleaned up. I'm just going to put it through the hole in the popsicle stick and put it back over the other one. See, like this. And then I just hold it down with my finger. Let me see where where's the camera? There we go. See, I just hold it and I go back to my Dremel tool. And see, that's how I clean up the bottom, get all the rust off those threads, because the the screws in a clock are pretty small. See, there's there's the uh, final one versus versus one that has not been cleaned. See, 
Now generally when I have bigger things like this I'll take them to the wire wheel and on my grinder big wire wheel and just hold it up there and get all the rust off and sometimes with little objects they can go flying if you're not careful so just this little way with a hole in the popsicle stick put your put your screw through there okay and then that holds it down now you might have to you might have to make smaller holes or bigger holes depending on the different size screws but that's not a big deal so after you enjoy your popsicle save the stick just wash it off let it dry there you go so now what do you do one more step oops let me move this okay one more step after getting the rust off that's the the rust I consider the hard stuff let me see where's my uh, one second all right uh, no matter what kind of metal polish you like to use, almost any kind will do on these steel screws. So you just take a little bit here and let's see, let me zoom in here. You just get some on there, on that head, because the head's the part that you see, well, depending on where the screw is, you'll see it. Don't worry about me tearing up this cloth here. It doesn't take much. See, I just did that a little bit, and now the screw, the head, is nice and shiny. No rust, looks nice. And a lot of metal polishes, they leave behind a, a coating that prevents rust, so that's also a plus. Now. There's many different ways to clean uh, little parts like this, but this is just the way that I found that's handy. And I have all these other little screws to do, which which is going to be part of my, in the next section of the repair series on the Sagosha clock, but, but see, nice shiny one versus rust. So, it's nice to use what's there, clean it up if possible, instead of, because uh, usually the older things have uh, are made with better quality also. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little tip. It's nothing earth shattering, nothing, <laughs> I mean, for anything that you clean, there's probably a hundred, if not a thousand different ways to do it. And the end result is, if it look, if the what you're doing makes the screws look nice in the end whether you're refinishing or whatever. So, that's just the way I do it. Thank you for watching. Oh, in my last video I had a cold, I was speaking, my voice was rough, wasn't feeling good, but I wanted to put out the video. And one person asked me, oh, uh, you sounded pretty rough in that video, are you okay? I just want to assure everyone, I am, thankfully, okay. All right. Okay, we'll see you on the in the next episode, and I hope everyone has a great day. So long for now. next time. And I hope you are all in good health.